G'day YouTube, JB from Oz again. So we're definitely approaching some progress. We're looking to fix onto the, I guess the vertical, the knee section of the shaper with a couple of uprights. From that we're going to suspend a piece of wire in the back, which I'll show you a bit later on. The wire is wrapped around the pitch circle disc. So as the bed moves across, you can see there the, two, the gear would be coming, sorry, the cutter will be coming straight through the gear and the gear rotates on that pitch circle diameter as per the disc in the back. You cut a tooth, then you reset the index which rolls the gear around to the next tooth, lock it in, rinse and repeat. So we're just doing a mock up here to make sure that we've got an overall idea of how we're going to clamp the wire that we've got the pitch circle disc in place. We know how thick we're going to make our index wheel, which will pin into the index tooth. Sorry, the index tooth that will pin into the index wheel. This will be pretty damn firm. It's uh, nearly a honeymoon fit there at the moment. Just got a little bit more work to do. But essentially that, if anybody was just wanting to get a quick idea of how the bed moving sideways rotates the gear, that's the action that we're looking for. The pitch circle disc sets the rotation of this. The cutter passes through the teeth. There we go. Thanks for watching. Okay, so here's our driven shaft into the pillow block. We've got our locking collar. We've got our spacer for the gear blank. This is the uh, example we're using in place of the gear blank right now. Then our end cap goes on and securing nut. So this all bears down and locks this shaft up to be able to move as one piece. At this end, we load our index discs on. We've got two pins to add in here to register the index discs. A set of three discs go in. We have a piece we're still making up, which is about 18 mils thick. A piece of circle with the top cut off. We use this piece of blanking steel to make our pillow block to bolt into the top of that. Then we'll have our index pawl made up of this stock, which is what will latch into the index pin. So this assembly then slides on next. After that, and with pins out this side, the pitch circle disc goes on. We've got a, a guide disc. Two pitch circle discs with a detent hole to secure into the wire and then the final guide disc. Once that's all assembled, final clamp washer and nut comes on. So the procedure will be bolt it all up, take a cut. When we want to adjust the index position, we loosen this off, move it around to our next tooth position, lock it up again, run the next tooth, and so on and so forth. This is the material for our dowel pins. That's the material for a pillow block and for the latch and uh, yeah drawings everything ready to go um, another quick update on the workshop we managed to end up with a very nice extra piece of gear to help us do the uh, tool that we need to cut and some 5c collets and a d-bit grinder so another tool to learn how to use uh, comes with all the accessories for sharpening end mills, drills, all the rest of the stuff. So, yeah, another piece of machine to learn how to use. Catch you next time.